Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Benjamin. I'm Sales Manager at European Space Imaging and today I want to talk about new products and solutions. First I will briefly talk about who we are, then I will continue with the power of resolution and then I will introduce you the Ecopia GFX powered by European Space Imaging and HD by Maxa. European Space Imaging was established in Munich, Germany in 2002. Starting with just one employee, we now have grown to over more than 40 staff members. In 2004, we began our ongoing cooperation with the European Commission and other government bodies. Later in 2010, we formed the Worldview Global Alliance Partnership with Maxa Technologies, formerly known as Digital Globe, and Space Imaging Middle East. Four years later, in 2014, Worldview 3 was launched. This, along with loser regulations, ushered in a new era of 30 cm capabilities. Realizing the importance of direct downlink in Europe, in 2017 we made a significant investment to upgrade our antenna at the DLR in Oberpfaffenhofen. This enables the ground station to communicate more successfully with the Worldview constellation. Finally, last year, in 2020, we developed key partnerships with Ecopia AI and Zetalogic, allowing us to remarkably expand our asset portfolio. European Space Imaging has direct access to the Worldview constellation. This gives us several key advantages including the largest daily VHR capacity, the largest historical archive and the largest spectral diversity. On the screen you will see the 16 spectral bands included in the constellation. Some of these are visible to the human eye and others show us hidden information useful in bathymetry, vegetation analysis, material identification and more. Our history in terms of resolution and satellites began in 1999 with Iconos 80cm. Fast forward to 2021 and the future of satellite imagery is here with better resolution and more capacity. The World for Legion constellation will begin launching this year expanding our 30cm capabilities. In terms of resolution, what is the benefit of 30 cm compared to 80 cm? Here we have an example of an airplane. In the far right image, you can see the carrier name on the side of it, which is not visible in the 80 cm image on the left. Of course, most of you are familiar with the Sentinels operated by ESA. They have a 10 meter resolution. Let's take a look at a comparison of 10 meter, 1 meter and 30 cm resolution imagery. The 10 meter examples are very pixelated and almost nothing can be identified. In the 1 meter examples we see a clearer image and some patterns are present. The 30 cm examples give the highest clarity. Here we can identify plant species or pipelines or, as in the last example, the Dome of Florence Cathedral. But what does this mean for agriculture? We have many customers who use 30 cm imagery in addition to 10 meter. In 10 meter imagery, pixels are heavily mixed with crop and non-crop areas, making it virtually impossible to identify property lines. With 30 cm imagery, you can clearly see what your field looks like. This includes location of heavy equipment tracks and using multispectral bands, the health of individual crops. This enables reliable asset management and accurate yield estimates. The multispectral bands of 10 meter imagery already reveal some hidden insights. However, the level of detail will never match 30 cm. With the near infrared band, it is possible to derive the NDVI to see the health of a large group of plants within one 10 meter pixel, but it is impossible to identify what the vegetation actually is. It could be a plant, it could be a tree, it could even be a road for all we know. If we now apply the same logic to a 5 meter image, we can get a clearer idea that the area in question contains different plant species. But again, we cannot identify any key feature. That is, we cannot tell the difference between a crop and a tree. However, when viewing a 30 cm image, you can immediately see that the vegetation in question are actually trees and that there are even some buildings between the trees. 
For forestry, this means that you can accurately count the numbers of trees and clearly identify different species. Information regarding height is also included in the imagery, making it possible to evaluate the canopy height, size of the crown and even the age of the tree. But what if you need greater detail for interpretation than 30 cm? One option can be aerial, but this comes with a lot of restrictions. So better use 15 cm HD instead. 15 cm HD significantly expands the level of detail, maximizing the ability to see smaller features, which are present but may not be clear in 30 cm imagery. Things like sunroofs, individual light poles, road signs and markings along with infrastructure conditions all become much easier to see with 15 cm HD. Take this building in 30 cm resolution for example. From the image you can see that there are windows and roof features, but you cannot accurately count them. The 15 cm HD image is sharper, therefore it is easier to count windows and determine roof features. When looking at airports, you can clearly see the benefit of HD. This product allows users to now more clearly read the taxiway signs and airplane markings. You will notice on the far right the 30 cm Iberia airplane I showed you earlier. Whilst in this image you could read the airplane markings, the visual clarity is much lower. This further demonstrates the advantage of 15 cm HD. The entire image archive from 15 to 50 cm can be used for Ecopia GFX powered by European Space Imaging. Let me explain to you what this product exactly is. Utilizing the freshest, highest quality satellite imagery along with the most advanced artificial intelligence from Ecopia AI, we offer accurate geospatial feature extraction at a continent-wide scale. The product comes with up to 12 core features eligible for extraction from VHR data, so users can receive comprehensive land cover maps with zero in-house GIS work. The resulting vector maps are delivered as easy-to-use shapefiles, enabling users to focus on necessary analytics rather than time-consuming map-making. If there are other features you would like to obtain that are not listed here, please reach out to me and I will check availability. The most common features are building footprints, road networks and land cover. These options can be ordered and obtained in multiple ways. We are happy to work with you to create the best product possible to suit your needs. We currently offer three ordering options for building footprints. Our standard option captures the base of the building. The multi-layered option includes the base structure and parts of the roof that have different height than the main structure. The basic option is more suitable for tight budgets and only applicable for NGOs. So, how does the final product look like? With all 12 features applied, it might look something like this. Each feature is color-coded for easy identification. If you would like to play around with this, we feature a live demo on our website. So, thank you for your attention. If you have any further questions, please let me know.